Hi guys. We'll be calling this the croissant forced sandwich. Well, see, I was making a sandwich and I wanted like regular bread, you know, but we had some. Well, I didn't like it, but I like crescent rolls. So I was thinking, well, how could I make a crescent roll sandwich? So I'm like, well, we'll call it the forced crescent roll. First, I, I warmed up that crescent roll and I unrolled it. And I made it to the shape of bread, more or less, you know, and put the meat on it. I get the second one and, and I, I'm going to try to unwind it too. I've never done this before, so this is a new invention sandwich. But the forced croissant sandwiches, because you're going to have to force that on the bottom, because when you start peeling this out, you could probably cut that piece there. And, you know, finish and rolling in there. I only got two full sheets of bread off of one. Yeah, then you, you could shape it into the sandwich shape you want. And smush it. Put it in your square sandwich thing, but yeah, uh, that'll work like that. And then you add, uh, well, you don't even add nothing. Now, I guess you can add a piece of ham because you can add ham and make a fork croissant. If I'm having beef cottage salami, croissant, and ham, call the forced. Croissant sandwich, because yeah, it's forced. It's definitely forced. And you put a ham. You know, because you want to make sure that its dexterity is right there in the sandwich, you know. You know, you know. And then you, you, you put your lunch meat up, and you probably, you know what, I don't know if you're going to need another piece of bread or not, but we'll look at it. You know, we'll get our sriracha sauce out. See, we got, we got sriracha. This is the only kind of... Hot sauce, well, we'll see, you know, this is the kind of, this is prison hot sauce. If you guys didn't know that. Sriracha sauce is the hottest hot sauce they sell in prison. And it's pretty hot. They pick kind of pranks in there with that stuff. I had a soup one time with just a half a bottle of that in it. I had to be a tough guy and eat it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, okay. You have to kind of force it into the ham sandwich, you know. It's all right. Like I said, it needs hot sauce, so I'm just going to go with the homemade. I'll give you that later. It's better than sriracha sauce, my homemade. Oh, you'll be making it and say, why did I not think of this when you taste my hot sauce? But it was a little dirty, but that's where we use it. It's still fresh at the bottom. And what we'll do is, just to show you how it works, is we'll, we'll use it as a dipping sauce. How about that? Because that's the one thing, uh, it's, it's more of a, it's, it depends on how thick you make it, but you know what I mean? It's, um, it's usually not this thin. It's usually a little thicker, but it's the bottom of the bottle. So, so we just sprinkle it all over like that, and then, uh, you know, that, that gets the whole thing. And then make sure, you know, we don't have no problems though, eating it, and we just cut it up into bite-sized pieces. So, you know, we won't have to worry about making sure that it all gets... You know what I mean? So. <sighs> Alright, so you do that. And you cut it up. Make sure it's all together right. You know what I mean? And then you get your your, your dishes and you put your dishes up. You know, because you need to do that in there. But. Yeah, we're going to put that too. That, that's done. The hot sauce, yes. That's definitely, definitely, definitely done. And then, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll mix it up, you know. And there it is. Your forced sandwich. Let's taste it. Mmm. 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 Superb. That's the forced croissant sandwich, guys. 
He needs a rock to substitute. You know, yeah, you just do it to whatever taste you, you know. Throw some sriracha sauce on there if you want, you know, if you want a good little flavor, you know what I mean? You just get that sriracha sauce. Mmm. How it brings out the, that vinegar, hot, cottered, you know, this is heart. Sorry, I'm eating heart. You don't want to know what's in that hot dog you're eating. Because I want heart, I don't want toe jam. <laughs> not, that's not what it's in bologna, no, it's not toe jam, it's, it's worse. But probably in this too, I just don't want to think about it, you know. What do we got in the ham? Hoops? Mm -hmm. All right, those are four sandwiches, guys. <laughs>